I'm honored to be here to be uh, to record and mix the music for this special. I mean, it's it's really important. This special is about paying tribute to uh, great musicians that have changed our lives who are no longer in our lives, who have passed away. Victor Bailey was an American bass guitar player who sadly left us in 2016. As a young boy growing up in Philadelphia, Victor started out playing the drums, but after a short time switched over to the bass guitar. As his experience grew, so quickly did his reputation. Victor went on to become one of the most influential jazz bassists in history. He's perhaps best known for his work with the legendary jazz fusion band Weather Report. I discovered Victor after, well after he had, you know, taken the bass chair in Weather Report. Uh, but, but I was kind of a late bloomer in knowing who's who in bass players. Then you start digging as a, as a younger bass player, trying to learn about these, these, these guys. Uh, and of course found out about Jocko, which then I found out about Weather Report. And then next thing you know, I'm trying to find CDs because here's this new thing of bass players are doing CDs and albums, records, whatever you want to call it. At the time it was just records. Uh, wow, I just dated myself, didn't I? Um, but I remember someone had recommended maybe, or maybe I just saw it, uh, a, a Victor Bailey one. And I, I remember the tune, bottoms up, bass is on the top, play that funky music, Victor, don't you ever stop. I'll never forget that, man. And, and I'm just like, this dude is funky. In Victor's final years, we got to work together at Berklee College of Music. We were both hired by Steve Bailey, who's the chair of the bass department. And so we got to work alongside of each other. And I felt like I got closer to him. Because when he got to where he couldn't come to work and he was living in an assisted care, uh, I'd always get to go with Steve Bailey over to see Victor Bailey. So here it is, Victor Wooten and Steve Bailey visiting Victor Bailey. You know? And we really got to talk and, and got to know each other. And I got to see Victor literally in his final days when he knew he was dying. And he pulled Steve and, and I close and told us, he said, you know, look, this, my condition is terminal. But then he talked about his life and he talked about how he felt successful because he had done all the things he wanted to do. And now that you know, he thanks Steve for letting him come to teach at Berkeley and helping him when he didn't think he knew how to teach. And Steve said, look, you've, been, you've done it all. All you have to do is talk about it. He became a teacher who loved his job. You know, I didn't grow up knowing Victor personally, but I feel that I knew him very well at the end of his life. And I know that I'm better for it. You know, and I'd be honored if he was too.
Thank you.